It's important to start off saying that you're probably going to need SBE to do this stuff. I know there are some other mods where you can make custom chat notifications. But I'm not sure if you can customize them like this. Yeah, if there are any, just let me know. I know SkyTools has one, but you can't really customize how the color looks. If you want to find it in SBE, you can just search custom chat notifications and it should come up right here. And you can just enable them or disable them. How it works, like for example, this is a great white. I have the chat message from when the great white, when you catch a great white up here. You can probably find all these messages on the wiki because you can really use any different trigger and then what it, like what appears on the screen. So I will copy this real quick. Play it off my island. Oh, no, wrong thing. That's what would come up. And then the trigger for it is this top metric. And there we have that message. So in this case, we saw the gray bracket right there. That eight is for the gray. And then all those different things add up to make that message. So it's important to start off with basic color codes. We got zero for black. One for blue, two for green, three for aqua, four for red, five for more of like a purple color, six for gold, seven for light gray, eight for dark gray, nine for kind of medium blue. And there's A for light green, B for light blue, C for lighter red, D for like a magenta pink color, E for yellow, F for white. And then there's the different modifiers right here. So how they're going to work, and in this case... We can see that this text is actually bold. And right here we have and L. And yeah, just keep in mind for all these, you're gonna have to have the and sign in front of them. And that's how like they'd all look. So if I wanted the message to be all white, it would be and F and then whatever. So for here we have and L, A. So now both of those A's are bold. Then I just showed, yeah, you can do the same thing with color. But just to let you know, the color does have to go first. The modifier won't work if you put the uh, if you put it before the color. So if I do this, it's not bold. But if I change it to and one and L, it is bold again. And then this one right here shows how. I close off the modifier with another and L to then say that. And you can see how that first one is bold, but the second one isn't. So that's how bold works. Then we have crossing through with M. Same idea as that one, like how it works, except like I said, this is just like crossing through and is just underlining. Same thing here. O is for italics. Same thing again, how all these other ones work. And then and k is a little bit different. And then again, as you can see, I have the and k right there. So how that one is going to work is you put however many scrambled letters you want. So in my example, the great white shark, there's only one. And it doesn't have to be a t, it can really be anything. I'm pretty sure colon would work, right? Yeah. And it seems like that might even make them all thin. Yeah. I am actually learning something new right there. Yeah, you can just use anything really. And it's just going to be however many scrambled letters you want. And then same thing again. Like with the great white message right here. We see that I have in the bracket and L and A and L bracket. So a large, bold bracket that is gray, and F and L and K, so it's going to be white, bold, and scrambled for one letter, because we only put one T, and then and K to close that off so it's no more scrambled letters, and A and L bracket to close it off. So you can really customize this however you want. We got our colors right there. 
and then our modifiers over here. I will say, depending on your GUI scale, it might not all fit there. As you can see with some of this stuff, it does cut pretty close. You're just going off screen. Uh, which one is pretty big? Like Jobus. That's this one right here. Kind of cuts on to the scoreboard. Let's say I were to make my GY scale smaller, something like this, then it works just fine. So, yeah, you can really just customize it however you want. I didn't want to just like put all of my codes in a video or something just because I think it would be more fun and just better if you wanted to make them yourself really not that difficult like some of these look a little crazy but they're really not that hard to make at all it's just pretty basic stuff just do and whatever letter number to get the color and whatever to make the modifier you can really say anything you want to doesn't have to say lord jobis could say just jobis you could just make them all say legendary catch if you like that original sba stuff but up to you. Thanks for watching.